Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 7th, okay? Keep in mind that the timing is fluid, and not every reading is for you. So what do we have for a message for around the 7th? What do we have for a message for around the 7th? Could be a few days after, could be a week later, could be happening now. What do we have for a message? Ten of Swords. This is defeated. This is uh, the end. It is the end. This is, this is. It's the end of a painful situation. I mean, it is. It's over. Something is over. Knight of Pentacles reverse. Something is coming to a halt. A dead stop. This is a dead stop. No movement. None. The lovers reversed. So that is a separation of some sort. The end of a contract. This is the end of contract. There's no compatibility. There could be. What is? It's the end of contract. There's no compatibility. There's no togetherness. There's no unity. We have a separation here. This isn't practical. There could be some unfaithfulness here. A lack of loyalty. This is the straw that breaks the camel's back. There's no turning back. It's over. It is over. Something is over. This is not meant to be. There could be another lover. There could be another option. Another choice that is being made. Somebody has made another choice. I feel like there, this is an unplanned situation. We have justice reverse. Justice is karma. It, and it's a, um, an argument with no resolution in sight. Sorry about that. So we have an argument with no resolution in sight here. This is an injustice. This is unfair. Um, there's, there is defeat. There is defeat. Um, and we have six of wands in reverse on the bottom. That is defeat as well. This is a loss. If somebody is going to court, there could be a legal issue that doesn't go in their favor. There is something that is not turning out as you thought it was going to turn out. This is a contract. This is a contract. This is the end of a contract. It's a karmic contract. There's no justice. Um, bad karma. Lack of integrity. There's some sort of lies here. There's unfaithfulness. Um, poor decisions. Poor choices. Consequences. These are both cards of consequences. There's consequences here. Somebody's not getting up. They can't. They're not. There's something going on. I could be dealing with a Libra. could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, poor choice. Somebody is going to be paying the consequences of a poor choice, a poor decision that was made. There's an argument with no resolution in sight. Um, there's no going back. You can't, you, there's, it's too late. It's too late. This is going to cost. It's going to cost. With that Knight of Pent, it's going to cost. There's some unfair treatment here. Doing Somebody may be doing something against the law. And there's consequences for that. It feels like they could be getting, I don't know, knocked down. Yeah, somebody's getting knocked down off of their high horse, for sure. Absolutely. Six of Wands now and upright. So that is in the future. 
this that that's the future position so we have an ending this is a painful suffering this is the end of suffering it is the end the, the death of a situation it's over it is definitely over there's been an injustice somebody has made has chosen another option it wasn't practical it wasn't real anyway six of wands is a card of progress though this is in the future this is victory this this separation leads to victory it does the end of this contract leads to success the battle is over there's this has been pain, a painful battle it has been, but the battle is over. You can call it a success. You can call it a victory because a lesson has been learned. It has. Six of Wands is victory after sorrow, after a fight, after a battle. The battle is over. It is. This is a win. It's a win. But it's a win after a battle because the battle this is somebody that has been through a war they have been through a battle they have been the battle zone okay they have had to fight they've had to have perseverance they've had to be strong somebody has had to fight a very tough battle the battle is over it's time to relax you can breathe there's going to be some public recognition on this day there's there's respect that is coming for uh, getting through it. So somebody is going to gain more respect for getting through this battle. They have a lot of support. So there's a separation that comes after a painful separation that leads to a win-win. You win, you win, you win. Yes, it's been sorrowful. Yes, it's been a battle. Yes, it's been hard. You've been in the, you've been in the thick of things, and it's been scary, and it's been, you know, uh, downright. Wow, it's like, am I gonna make it or not? Am I gonna survive or not? This is like, am I? Yeah, you're gonna survive. This is survival. This is this is leadership, becoming a leader after having to go through this struggle. Somebody has had to fight a very tough battle. But the battle is over. And there's going they're gonna be recognized for their valor, recognized for the nobility. There is some sort of public recognition that is coming for a strong individual who has persevered and overcome a lot of obstacles. There's been an injustice, there's been unfair treatment, there's been lies, they weren't chosen, they've been defeated, or they've been hurt really badly, maybe even left for dead. There could also be somebody that is very noble, that is coming in, somebody that is highly respected. This is somebody that is battle ready after a separation after somebody has been treated unfairly and betrayed and cheated or whatever I mean the knight of pentacles is in reverse is unfaithfulness disloyal uh, doesn't want responsibility And there's been a delay. There's been a delay in having victory. This is the delay in getting the justice. Okay, there's been a delay. But here, this is a victory after the sorrow. So victory is coming. Something really good is coming. I think it's a new partnership because the lovers is a partnership. But there has been a delay because you need to heal. You need to heal. And this is a healing love. But I feel like there's been a lack of healing. But the Six of Wands is a very strong individual that has gained strength through some sort of battle that they have been in. They've gained experience 
and knowledge. <laughs> now they're going to be recognized for who they are. Nine of, this is the end of the battle. Nine of Wands is the wounded warrior, right? This is the wounded warrior. And we have a warrior here as well. I even mentioned it. But it's time to let your guard down. We have a protector here. I think that we have a protector here that is coming in. Nine of Wands reversed. On the lookout, expecting trouble. Hard feelings. In protective mode. We have somebody here that is in protective mode. Somebody is, this is a protector. Something about a protector. Experiencing life challenges. This warrior has had to fight quite a bit. Has experienced a lot of life challenges. A lot. One right after another. And it feels like there's distrust. There is distrust with this Nine of Wands in reverse. This is extremely wounded. Extremely. Somebody. Uh, there's help arriving. Or somebody is arriving. Some, this is, I believe there is somebody that I, ha, is very experienced and no, noble. This is somebody that is a protector that is coming to help somebody in some way. You know, this could be somebody in the military. It could be a police officer or somebody. Because you want to see protection. We could have some protector. Could even be, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's a, what I just was going to say, an ambulance. And I don't know why, because I was looking at the red. And a lot of time ambulances have red on them or fire truck. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I, I just feel like there's going to be an arrival and this is something, somebody that is coming to help. I don't know where that is coming from. Nine of Wands. You know, I, what I want to say early at the beginning was somebody is down. We got a man down. So I don't know what that means, but a man down. But I feel like, I feel like things are gonna, there's been lies, there's been deception, there's been deceit. Somebody may have broken the law and gotten away with it. But I don't think that they're going to get away with it. I don't. Because I think we have, I don't know, somebody coming in. This person is fearless. <laughs> Whew, eight of Cups. Hangman. Sacrifice. This is a sacrifice. Somebody is making a sacrifice. They're willing to do something to prove. To prove something. To prove who they are. To, I don't know. Eight of Cups is saying goodbye from an emotionally disappointing situation. Facing a challenge. Somebody's going to be facing a challenge head on. And they know it's going to be a challenge, but they're fearless and they're going to do it anyway. They've thought about it a lot. A lot, 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 lot. This is somebody that is willing to die or prove. Seriously, this is a warrior. This is a warrior. This is somebody that will do whatever it will Die proving their valor. Die proving the facts or whatever it is. Die for their, I was going to say country. You know, die for their person. Die to protect. There's some sort of hard feelings here as well. With this Nine of Wands reversed. We have somebody here that is uh, willing to do whatever it takes to prove their nobility, you know, to prove something, prove the truth, 
There's been lies, there's been deception to prove themselves. There's going to be a separation. Somebody has not been telling the truth. We have a very noble individual here that is willing to do whatever it... I think there's... I don't know if, what's happening. It feels like somebody is willing to do whatever it takes to bring the truth out. Eight of Cups. Saying goodbye. Sacrificing themselves. It feels like we have somebody here that is willing to sacrifice their own happiness. To prove something. But now, maybe that's what they were doing, but this is in the future position. This is hard, hard feelings, angry about what has happened. Somebody is angry. The fool. This is a fearless dude here, fearless person that is... Stepping into unknown territory. This is a free spirit that is going to do something based on blind faith. Somebody's going to be taking a risk. This is starting over, okay? Starting from scratch, doing something. I feel like we have somebody that has been uh, defeated. This person has been defeated. They've been suffering. They haven't been practical. They haven't been real. They may have been in a false contract. They may have been lying about their feelings. They're in some sort of false contract for sure. Absolutely. Now they are defeated. And it feels like they're finding it's their courage. This is a very courageous individual that, I don't know if they deserted somebody to prove a point. Could be dealing with a Pisces. Could be dealing with an Aries. Could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have, we have everybody here. It doesn't really matter. There's definitely been an injustice. Somebody has been lying. They've been lying about a connection, about a lover. They have. And they've been feeling the pain a lot. This is a leader that is, that is, that is uh, courageous, that is... You know, all done playing games, all done competing, all done with the battle, all done with the war. Giving up. Giving up their stance, saying goodbye. This is somebody that is willing to step into unknown territory. They're willing to prove something. They did want to prove something, but I think now they're willing to uh, do something crazy. We have a new beginning here. This is saying goodbye to emotional discontent and starting over from scratch. It's time to be happy. It's time to stop fighting. It's time to stop thinking about it. And surrender. Surrender to what is. So anyway, I feel like this day is about... I don't know, reconnecting, opening up. Socializing, coming out of hiding. Somebody's about to come out of hiding. They're going to take a risk. This is a new life. It really is. We have a new life that is beginning after there's been some competition, after there's been some sort of battle, after the war has been had. It's over. This battle is over. We have a leader here 
that is, I don't know if this person has been urged to do something. Maybe they've been urged by their people or their friends or their family, you know, to open up. Anyhow, I do think that there is a change that is coming. It comes after a separation from a false contract. We have somebody that is giving up their stance. They are giving up their stance because they want a, they want a, they want a fresh start, right? They want a new beginning. They want to start over. This is starting from scratch, starting a new journey. So we have an ending, <laughs> first card, last card, that leads to a new beginning. This is the end of a painful situation. Somebody is going to be starting on a new life lesson, okay, a new journey, after a separation that wasn't meant to be. Okay, I feel like there's going to be some sort of congratulations as well. I don't know why I feel like there's, or, or if it's not congratulations, it could be, um, condolences, I'm just being honest with you. This is somebody that is replacing fear with faith, no doubt, and saying goodbye to an emotionally disappoint, disappointing situation. They are stepping into a whole new situation. And it's, it's, it's like they've thought about it, and 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 they've thought about it. But fear was a factor. And losing control and letting go of control. But now it feels like they've changed their mind. They're just ready to take this leap of faith. So be prepared. Okay, be prepared for a sudden, because I think it's very sudden, completion that leads to a new beginning. Good luck.